Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I absolutely love shopping. Any kind of shopping really. Household, grocery, clothing, all of it. But it can be so overwhelming moving countries and having to figure it all out, especially those self-service checkouts. But we are slowly finding our way. So here's a real life account of our experience grocery shopping in London. While there are a wide variety of home and grocery retailers, these are just some of the ones that I have tried out. I've added some extra information on each you might want to pause to read, just to give you a little bit of background about each of them and what we shop at these specific retailers. After a few recommendations, I tested out an online app called Ocado who delivered the very next day and to my door. And of course, I tried to take everything up the stairs in just one go. But I succeeded. Okay, so I've just received my first online grocery shop delivery and I'm quite excited to open it up. It's, it's a big shop. Uh, so far I've been going to the shops and obviously I'm always quite limited in terms of what I can carry or what I can balance on the pram. So this time I've done like a proper shop. What's nice is you can also, you get the deals. So there's lots of offers on there, specials, um, two for ones, three for twos, those sorts of things. Um, or like a bundle deal, so like three for 10 pounds, which is nice because I didn't see a lot of those deals in store. So I think I'm probably gonna shop more online and also you can specifically tell them what delivery so slot you want. So you can choose a delivery slot based on your availability, which is also quite nice. So I, I like the idea of that. So I chose a half past nine to half past 10 delivery and it arrived at a quarter past 10. So I'm quite pleased. And now I'm gonna unpack everything. What's nice about it is that it has a few different retailers and it's almost like a one shopping bag, one stop shop. So you can shop at different retailers and it'll all come to you in one delivery. And there's also specials on there. So I think it makes so much more sense economically and logistically to just use the site going forward. So of course, I'm not really sure yet what my preferences are. I don't actually know what the proper cost of our grocery shop is gonna be yet. I've just been saving receipts from our shops when we go to the store, um, trying to find brands that I like, um, we're testing out different stuff. And obviously I think it'll take a few months to get around to actually knowing how to properly budget for our monthly groceries um, and also knowing what our favorites are and what the brands we like are. So for this shop, um, lots of food stuff to fill up my freezer. Oh, the other nice thing is these bags, you return them. So when your next delivery comes, you give them the bags and then they will give you a discount on your next delivery, which I think is really nice. And they obviously recycle and do with it as they please. So I got some pizza bases for the girls. They also have corn-fed free-range uh, chicken. So I got some of those. I got some thighs and some drumsticks for the girls. More pizza bases because pizza is life in this house. And then I got, I wanted to test it out. It's actually the, the ready-made um, kids' pizzas. It's minis as well. These are also from Mark and Spencer's. Um, these are cheesy pizzas that I got for them. So I wanted to test those out. So the pizza bases were actually on a three, if you buy three deal, and I will just add the price in there. I can't remember exactly, but I'll show you and share all the prices afterwards. Chicken strips for the girls. So I added in some chicken strips. And I managed to find some lamb. So... My husband does love his lamb curry, uh, specifically lamb mince curry. So I managed to get some lamb and they actually had a range of organic, um, less like lower fat content lamb. And they also had um, some lamb pieces as well. So I'm trying that out. This one was Marks and Spencer's food and this is the Ocado brand, but I'm gonna test it out. Obviously I'm not sure what I like yet. So we will see how that goes. Our almond milk. We got some refill for our hand wash. We got some paper towels. Paper towels are life in this household. And now I'm starting to clutter the whole camera here. And I got some toilet paper. So there was a special on the toilet paper actually. It was a Jumbo Pack 24, uh, which I actually found quite affordable compared to how we've been buying the nine pack so far. So I got that as well. And then we needed laundry basket. Ordered a laundry basket that I saw on Ocado. So let's have a look at it. A mesh one, oh, there we go. So it's foldable. I like foldable currently because we don't have a lot of storage space. 
We still have all our luggage, all our bags from our trip from South Africa, so we still need to sort that out. So our storage space is taken up with massive bags right now. So this works perfectly. So if we have to store it and move it around, we do. We can just fold it up again. I like that it's mesh because it makes it more breathable. I try to do laundry as often as I can, so around three to four times a week, just so that it doesn't pile up. So I like that this is also a breathable bag too. Okay, so these drumsticks are massive. Um, usually when I came across drumsticks this massive, they were turkey drumsticks, but this is British free range corn fed chicken drumsticks. So yeah, and this pack was 376. I can't remember if that's exactly what I paid in Ocado. It might have been a little bit less, but yeah, I'll confirm. And this is from Marks and Spencer's food. So I've unpacked everything, parceled it up. We don't actually eat a lot of meat in the week, maybe like once or twice a week. So I bundled it up for the girls and ourselves and I put it in the freezer. So I cannot use those containers because it will literally take up all my freezer space. I've got one of those fridge freezers, so not a lot of freezer space. So I just parcel them up into these little bags and then it's so much easier and saves a lot of space. With this shop, everything seems to have fitted. So now I am super excited to cook tonight because I have so much more supplies. I'm also so excited for this app because you can literally find anything on there. I'm going to go and search like a whole lot of my spices now that I've been looking for. Though I did find another online store that I'm going to check out. So I'm just going to compare prices on those. When you're at home, you do tend to have a little bit of time to shop around. So that has helped me greatly. Um, and today, because I found the mini pizzas, the girls get to have pizza for lunch. So they are going to be so happy as well about that. Okay, update. So my kids heard me say pizza and now we're having lunch a whole hour earlier. Okay, now back to my delivery. So apart from the fact that the bags are reused and recycled, the other nice thing about Ocado is that the bags are specifically labeled with items that are for the fridge and items that are for the cupboard. So you can easily know what to unpack first. Initially, I was worried about temperature control until I realized it's mostly cold here all the time. And now to give you an idea of what I paid for everything, in the middle is a little video showcasing each of the items I purchased and what I paid for it. You can easily see the discounted amounts as well as the deals on the right hand side. A lot of them that I will definitely purchase again. It's Chad's first day in the office so he's been working since Monday but today he's gone down to the office so it's been a big change for me not having him here. I do have somebody helping me with the cleaning today so I've had some time free just to sort out the deliveries and think about what I'm going to be cooking and also just spend some time with the girls and film this video for you. So hopefully um, if we're all happy this will be a weekly occurrence and it takes a lot of pressure off me so that I'm not solely responsible for keeping everything clean all the time. Um, so I'm very excited about that as well but we'll talk more about that once it becomes more regular. For now, I am off. I hope you've enjoyed this little video, uh, a little bit of insight into lifestyle and um, you know how much it could cost, uh, cost of living point of view, and just what you get, uh, and this type of stuff that's available. But I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything you want me to share about or talk about, please do drop it in the comment section as well. Bye-bye for now. Oh, <laughs>